Hi there, oh, welcome to my views and news. Two new stories for you. First new story is about a new commando wing established at NIS, National Intelligence and Security Services, which is Ethiopian uh, intelligence agency. Here a new commando unit has been established. The commandos have uh, received uh, training, modern weapons, technology. Where will these commandos be deployed? For internal operations in the country or for external operations? Secondly, last night we received a leaked Recording of uh, Kumsa Dereba Ola Chief's call, uh, six minute long, six to seven minute long audio uh, sheds light on the internal dynamics in Ola and OLF, Roma Liberation Army and Roma Liberation Front. Ola is the armed wing. Olaf is a political party. Is Komsar Dereba frustrated? Uh, what does this uh, audio indicate? We'll have a look at that. Firstly, we are uh, almost all day, every day, we uh, see reports by Ethiopian security institutions about new recruitment, trainings, uh, graduation ceremonies of uh, trained uh, soldiers. 48 hours ago, Ethiopian intelligence agency organized a ceremony to announce the completion of training of a very modern commando unit. NIS, National Intelligence and Security Services, has established this commando unit. NIS generally works uh, on intelligence collection, it's an intelligence agency. But this wing which has been formed in NIS is an operational wing. And uh, one of the most powerful operational wings in NIS is going to be this commando unit. The commandos have undergone rigorous training. They have been given modern weapons access to modern technology and they have completed their training now. They are ready to be deployed. So, deployment is going to start now. Where will they be deployed? In the country or outside country? Well, two days ago, the current and former heads of uh, NIS Met. Current chief is uh, Ridwan Hussain, uh, and the former one is Tamaskan Derone. Tamaskan is now deputy prime minister of Ethiopia. Both met, and they are the inauguration of these uh, inauguration ceremony of this unit was held. And there it was said that this new unit has been trained particularly to be deployed in conflict areas. So it means that this new unit of Ethiopian intelligence agency is going to be deployed to either Amhara region or to Oromia, because these are the two regions where we are seeing now conflicts, armed conflict, especially in the Amhara region. This deployment is going to be made. There are not tens of thousands of uh, commandos, no, but uh, they are 
less in number but extremely uh, well versed extremely competent in their work and uh, when the inauguration ceremony was held it was told by the speakers there that uh, the commandos have been trained to work in all weathers they know how to survive and they know how to operate in conflict areas too they can operate independently as well it means that in coming days we're going to see the deployment of this special intelligence agencies commando wing to the amhara region and aromia mainly to the amhara region and by the way yesterday i showed you pictures of uh, uh, thousands of newly trained uh right police members or former asf members who also uh, completed the training yesterday at birshaleko military training institute they are ready to be deployed as well so we are going to see in coming days more deployment of non endf forces on the ground in the amhara region endf is already here endf wants to scale down its operations and we'll see limited deployment of the specialized commando units of the intelligence agency and large scale deployment of uh, riot police members uh, former asf members let's see the speakers at the ceremony were the commando uh, unit of uh, is graduated spoke very highly about these commandos let's see uh, what the this commando unit does but ethiopian forces are focused on upgrading modernizing their capabilities but focus is internal uh, there is no point in training forces if they are just deployed internally and then uh they kill others and they are killed by others in the country ethiopia needs to protect its borders as well are these forces uh, prepared to thwart external threats to or they are being trained to counter only internal threats secondly was jelmaro komsa dereba is the head of oromo liberation army OLA and OLF split in 2018 OLF has been fighting for decades to protect the rights for of oromo people that is what OLF and OLA say by the way in 2018 OLF uh, reached a deal with the government of PMRB ONLF OLF other groups armed groups signed peace deals OLA disagreed with the peace deal OLF turned into a political party led by Daud Ibsa OLA led by Komsa Dereba continued along the path of armed resistance uh, but OLF was never allowed to work freely as a political party its chief uh, remains under house arrest its top leaders uh the ragasa and several others are still in prison though uh, no criminal cases are pending against some of these olf leaders they have been granted bails they have been uh declared innocent but still they are not being released olf was never allowed to turn into a true political force in the romia region ola continuing its activities uh, armed attacks armed confrontation ola government uh, have held two rounds of talks in the last uh, one year or so in tanzania komsa dereba jelmaro's uh, call with someone uh, was leaked recording was shared with me by a source by a friend i got it translated uh, i cannot 
share the entire conversation here. Six minute long uh, this uh, leaked uh, audio recording of uh, Kumsa Dereba. The recording shows that Kumsa Dereba thinks that the political side of Oromo's movement is weak or it is not delivering. Uh, and he is calling for more efforts so that the political struggle gains space and it uh, presents itself as an alternative to the international community, to the people of Oromo. Without naming uh, uh, the OLF leadership, Daudipsa, uh, I think uh, Jalmaro criticized uh, OLF a little without naming it. And by the way, OLF. Uh, is not allowed to work in the Oromia region. How can it uh, achieve any political targets? OFC, OLF, both are under a ban, you can say. Their party offices closed, leadership uh, behind the bars. Some have fled the country. So, how can they present themselves as alternatives to the regime, to Pim Abi's government. But Komsa Dereba, uh, in this audio talk, can be heard saying that there is need for improvement, need for changes to take this struggle of Oromo people to a new and higher level. The frustration could be an indication that uh, Komsa Dereba is not seeing any immediate success in coming days or that he's just boosting the morale of his people that uh, you need to uh, up the ante to achieve your objectives. Don't uh, be, uh, don't think that you have achieved a lot and uh, slow down your pace. You need to gain more momentum for your struggle. I think that uh, we know that Ola has been operating since 2018, OLF for decades. But can we say that Ola is going to achieve its objectives in coming days, or weeks, or months? No. If people criticize Ola, by the way, they say that these people, these Ola members, have been fighting for years to reach Adi Baba. And uh, every day they say their destination is Addis Ababa, Finfane, and never in the past did they come close to reaching the capital city. Yes, Ola will have to do something different. It has been fighting for years, and so far it, it has not been able to achieve its objectives. Rather, Ola members, those seen as pro Ola, Thousands of them are behind the bars. We know that Kios joined Ola to in large numbers. Just like ASF joined Amhara, though it's not a very fair parallel because Kios were not armed. But Ola could never turn into a real challenge for the government. And people sometimes say that uh, Ola and some government uh, elements stay in touch. I read a video about uh, the facilitation by Ola to the government to organize rallies in uh, Vallega. I was contacted by an Ola spokesperson who rejected my report saying that I was making up stories. Ola never received any money to allow government to hold rallies in Vallega, West Vallega, uh, Gimbi uh, and other areas of Western Kerala Vallega. 